Yeah, it does. I wish I could have caught that when I saw it in 1996. But she dwarfed Valentine. Really? Yeah, really. I'm serious. Was was Lake Fork clear enough that you could see deep, or did you see that fish shallow? No, this fish. I was I was fishing. It was on April the sixth, I believe. Was if I remember correctly, it was April the sixth, 1992. No, uh, 1996. April the 6th, 1996, I believe it was. And I was fishing with a customer who was a good friend of mine. He, he was a good customer of mine. He fished with me a lot. And I had seen this, and we were we were flipping uh, a creek channel up in Birch Creek. And uh, I was in the creek channel with the boat, flipping the sides of it because these spawning fish were all over the side though. And this was back when we had tons of timber and they were all over that timber, you know, mm -hmm. and they were on the edge of the creek and on the lay downs and everything. And when I went, there was a great big, huge tree that had fallen off of the, out of the water in down into the creek. And it just kind of slanted a 45 down in the creek. And when my boat went over this tree, which was about, I don't know, maybe four or five foot under the boat, this huge fish come from up under that from that tree and just kind of like a submarine, just kind of surfaced to the top of the water, almost to the top of the water. And I got a really good look at her. And she swam down the side of that big, big uh, tree, went across it, came back on the other side, and we just swimming, just real slow, and just swam up with about within about five feet of my boat. And she just just stopped and looked at us. And I, you know, I was telling my customer, I said, "Look at that! Look at that! Look at that!" And we could see that. I mean, we could see that fish just plain as day, man. And because uh, she was right up close to the top, and then she just kind of, just kind of, just well, saw her on down, just went right on down. Wasn't scared of anybody, just real slow, went on down deep, back under the tree, I guess. And uh, that fish, oh, man, she was so wide. And she was, you know, Valentine was like 27 and a half inches long. I guarantee you this fish was close to 30 inches long at least. And she was so wide. Her eyes, I mean, it looked like it was just unbelievable how fat she was and how broad she was. And uh, we got, I mean, we got a really good look at her, and she dwarfed Valentine. I'm telling you, she dwarfed Valentine. And I fished for that fish for 30 days straight. <laughs> 30 days straight. I fished for that fish up there. And let me tell you, another, another, this is a cool story. That guy that I was fishing with came back to fish with me again, and we were up there in that same area fishing. And we were we were hunting that fish, and he caught a giant fish. I mean, a really big fish. And I told him as soon as he caught it, I said, "Well, that fish is over thirteen. You want to take her in and put her in the locker program, or you want to just let her go? What are you going to do?" He said, "Oh no, let's put her in the locker program." I said, "Okay, we'll we'll take her in there." I didn't even I didn't even wear. So we loaded up. I mean, you know, put in live well, and I got out of there. And, and and went to the marina and weighed the fish. Well, I missed it. The fish only weighed twelve sixty three. And I thought, golly, there's no way I missed that. I mean, I, that's a thirteen pound fish. I was, I was you kind of bet the farm on that. But anyway, she only weighed twelve sixty three. So we put her back in the live well and took her back up to to Birch Creek where we would see that huge fish and where we caught her because we were going to let her go. You know, because, you know, it looked like she still had eggs in her. We just gonna let her go so she spawned, you know, some more. So we took her back up there and uh, kind of back up just for a second. When we caught that fish, there were boats all around us, boats everywhere. I mean, that's just, just a sea of boats up there, okay? And this, this boat, one boat that was out there close to us, you know, saw, saw us catch the fish and everything, saw us leave. Well, when we got back up there, he was sitting right where we caught that fish. And he was from uh, Minnesota. And uh, so I asked him, I, well, when I pulled up there, I said, do you mind if we come up there beside you because we want to let this big fish go we caught a while ago? 
uh, out, you know, we don't let her go out where she, where, where we call her. And he said, no, come on, come on. So we went up there and we got right by his boat. And of course, uh, uh, my customer pulled that great big old 1263 out of the live well. And man, they wanted pictures of it, you know. They had never seen a fish like that. Well, uh, anyway, he said, you know, of course, my customer's grinning ear to ear. And he's holding that fish up. They're getting pictures and everything. And he finally releases the fish out there by him. And they, here's what they said. You're not going to believe this. They said, boy, that's a huge fish. That's the biggest fish we've ever seen, except last night we were fishing up here. And we had a fish on. That I'm not kidding you. They said I'm not. We're not kidding you. It would almost make two of that fish. It looked like he was almost twice as big as that fish. And I said, really? And they said, yes. And he said we got her about two foot from the net, and she came up on top of the water and threw the threw the jig, and we lost her. But we got a good look at her, and he said we just didn't get her in the boat. Mm. And I know that that fish that they were talking about is that fish that I saw, that we saw. Yeah. It's the same fish because they said, you know, you know, that's a huge, they said, that's a huge fish. You all just let go, but you're not going to believe what I'm fixing to tell you. We had one on last night that was almost twice that big. <laughs> <laughs> so they had that fish on. There's no doubt in my mind they had that fish on that, that we saw. Yeah. 